Header bidding has been a game changer in the past 12 months. So what's happening is we're seeing a lot more impressions every day that we can bid on on behalf of all of our buyers and agencies and marketers who use our platform. And what's generally happening is that it used to be that you might see one impression one time from an SSP. So New York Times selling through Rubicon, an impression comes in. Well, the New York Times might have a header implementation with a bunch of different SSPs. So OpenX, Index, Google. So in some cases, we might see the, the impression more than once. So there's some duplication that's happening. So as a buyer, you have to be a little bit more choosy about which pipe are you buying from? Do you, which exchange do you want to buy from? So people call it supply path optimization. Just a new variable to consider. The other piece of that, though, is, is mostly good news, which is that you know, five years ago, programmatic was more remnant inventory. It was after the direct sold piece of the waterfall, what was left over, and the publisher would say, let's sell that programmatically. And what's happening now is actually the publisher saying, with header bidding, let's open up that whole waterfall programmatically to let the previously remnant demand compete with my direct sold demand. For us on the buy side as a DSP, what that means is some inventory that New York Times had that they sold directly via insertion order five years ago, we now have a chance to bid on. So that front page placement, really premium inventory, that's a good thing. So there, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Um, costs go up for DSPs with the more impressions you look at. But if you're getting better inventory to look at in the first place, we look at that as, as a good thing.